I just got the biggest box from Minecraft Source, and I'm so excited to do this unboxing with you. So let's dive into all the goodies I just pulled out of that box onto my desk. To get started, I just wanted to let you know that I'm Bethany with Craft with Bethany. Welcome back to my channel. Today's an unboxing video for a ton of fall, Halloween, and Christmas crafting supplies. And I have some really exciting things that I'm going to do with some of this, and I cannot wait to show it to you. All right, so let's dive in because there was a ton of stuff in that giant box. I would have kept it here, but you wouldn't have been able to see me or any of the goodies. So I just pulled it all up for you. All right, so one thing I want to let you guys know is that everything I'm going to show you in this video is listed in the description below. So be sure to click those links. And there is also a little discount code for you guys down there. These are like the most fun videos because this is just like, I'm like a kid in a candy store over here, just sugar overload. So I thought I would start with some blank items. If you're not aware, my craft source doesn't, also, doesn't just offer uh, fun vinyls and glitters and leathers and all that fun stuff too. They also have the blanks to be able to craft with. So I'm going to start with blanks. First of all, we have the Gildan sweatshirts. They come in a lot of different colors. I'm loving this like tan number here for the season. And there's definitely some other goodies in this box that I plan on putting on this hoodie. All right. Not a hoodie. It's a sweatshirt. There's no hood. All right. So the other two blanks that I got shirt wise is some t-shirts these are bella canvas t-shirts they are so soft i love these shirts they are so comfortable and they come in a lot of different colors and this oatmeal right here is probably one of my favorites all right so i got these i also have this really cute trucker hat now last christmas i put a really cute design on the trucker hat um, with some permatwill that I printed a design onto, but this time I think I may go a different route with the trucker hat. I just haven't decided on the design yet and which of these materials I'm gonna use because I have a lot of options now. And uh, so stay tuned for that project. I love making hats. All right, this is a Santa sack. Uh, this is for putting like unusually shaped gifts or big gifts, or some people like to put a lot of the gifts in here so you don't have to wrap so much, which comes in handy. So uh, they have these canvas Santa sacks. They are a good size, like they're a good size, okay? And they have a nice drawstring at the top to cinch it, cinch it shut. <laughs> and uh, yeah, keep it safe so that the kiddos or whoever cannot see what's inside. And it says you can't open it till Christmas anyways. It's got a warning label. Um, but this little blank space right here is perfect for putting the person's name to personalize it with some heat transfer vinyl. I made some of these last year for my family um, with some black glitter heat transfer vinyl. So the names really pop, um, but I didn't make one for myself. So I got one for me this year and maybe Santa will leave me some some presents in it this year. We'll just have to wait and see, but I have been good so far so far all right some of the other blanks i got this one i'm super excited oh now i know we're jumping back and forth from christmas to halloween just bear with me this is gonna be like that the whole video this is not organized by season this is just a box of of everything but this is the cutest sanderson sisters hocus pocus wooden cutout that i plan on doing something really cool with and hanging up in my house and super pumped about this. And what am I gonna paint, like do with this? Like you're probably wondering like, what, it, what are you gonna do with a wood cutout? They offer a lot of different shapes and designs, but I picked up a couple of their chalk paints. So I have a black and it's a coral orange color. We're gonna make it work for Halloween. Uh, there's probably gonna be some glitter involved in this project and Lord only knows what else. So super excited about that. Something else that I got is a wood, uh, also wood and blank is this little ornament shape. Kind of excited. I don't know if I'm going to make this an ornament or like a gift tag. I feel like this would be really cute as gift tags. I don't know, maybe a little sign display for my vendor booth. I'm not sure yet, but I think it's cute and you could put lots of things on this. So loving that. Some of the other blanks and these are new. These are pretty new to my craft source. And if you have been in crafting and been online for just five seconds anywhere, you have seen 
the glass jars that people are working with now. So gone are the days of like standard tumblers. Like it's still a thing, but this is the new rage. And I'm so excited to get one of these because I want to try it out so bad. So this is a snow globe, 15 ounce glass tumbler. And it has the bamboo lid with the little place for the straw. I love this. So this is double walled. I don't know if you guys can see the two layers there. Super fun. Definitely, definitely decorating this. Just got to decide on the design, but I'm leaning more towards like something fall or Halloween. I don't know because I got this other blank cup and this is a sublimation mug. It's a 15 ounce mug. And I'm excited about this one because it's black on the inside, which is super cool. So I feel like this definitely needs to be like a Halloween design. So maybe the other one will be Christmas. I don't know. Lots of options. And when you see all the vinyl and everything that I got today, you're going to understand why I'm being indecisive right now. All right. So a few more blanks I want to show you. These are some smaller items. More ornament type of projects with some fun glitter. Okay, so speaking of sublimation, they do have ornaments that you can sublimate on. And I don't know if you guys can hear this. Little ASMR for you <laughs> with my nails. But this is like a ceramic almost. Um, and it is for sublimation. So I got to create a fun little design for that and put that on there. And then I got three acrylic ornaments. I got a pumpkin piece of candy and a Christmas tree. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is just this blue and then the white on the pumpkin. They're just protective layers so that the acrylic, which is clear, doesn't get scratched. Uh, but what I love to do with these, and I did a video with the car coasters, which are also acrylic blanks. Um, I love to mix glitter and paint and fun stuff like that with UV resin. And to make stuff like this because it's such a fun project and it's very quick. Speaking of glitter, I have a Holly and Berry Starcraft glitter here. So it's got the little red berries and the green Holly leaves. So that's super cute. And then I've got this Flash Freeze um, winter mix of glitter. And it also has snowflakes in it. Some bigger snowflakes, which are super fun. And then this one is a Starcraft sweater weather which is kind of a theme for some of the stuff I have in this box. And there are little leaves in different like fall colors, super fun. So I cannot wait to use those with those blanks. Let's dive into some of the other stuff that's not blank. Some of the stuff I can use to decorate said blanks that I got. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my favorite thing, which are full color transfers. So if you've seen my channel before, you've probably seen one of my full color transfer videos uh, and tutorials. This is where I take those blank t-shirts and sweatshirts and I heat press these pre-printed full color transfer designs um, directly onto it in seconds. And I have a flawless shirt full of color and design ready to wear. And so I'm gonna show you some of the new ones I picked up because this is probably going to be the first thing I make out of everything in this box because there's just so quick and easy. So if you're looking for a quick project, last minute gift, keep some shirts on, on hand, keep some of these on hand, and you can even order custom designed ones, which I've done and they're wonderful. All right. So some of the ones I got, this is Merry Christmas with the paw prints. If you don't know already, I'm obsessed with my dogs and I have a dog bandana business called Biscuit Bell Boutique. So I definitely will be making some of these to wear at my vendor events this season. I love this one too, sweater weather with the leopard. And you know, these layers that are you see here, there's like four different color layers. Before you would have to achieve this with doing multiple layers of vinyl, which really feels bulky and thick and it doesn't last very long. But this isn't like that. It's printed on here. This is the back. And you just put this on the shirt and press it. I'm telling you, if you haven't seen my video on that, you need to go see it. This one's hilarious. This one my fiance actually picked out. He loves doing these full color transfer shirts with me. This one is a vintage Santa and it says, I saw that. Okay, I saw that. And then underneath it says, you nasty. <laughs> Which I think is so funny. So, you know, it's just comedic, light humor, silly, super fun. All right, this one's for me because it's another puppy dog one. It says, stay spooky. 
I love the little retro vibe, and I love that it's not like traditional Halloween colors with like the pinks and stuff. Super cute. Um, by far my favorite movie, one of my top favorite movies is Mean Girls. So this one says Jingle Bell Rock. Classic. Fun fact, this movie came out when I was in college as a freshman, so I'm aging myself for a minute. That's okay, I don't care. Uh, I skipped one of my night classes, my history of film and modern art, to go see this movie when it came out at the Dollar Theater on campus, and I have no regrets. I remember that movie much more than I remember anything I learned in that class. Moving on. Sorry, Mom. All right, the last one that I got is probably, probably one of my favorites because it's just so funny. It's called Ghost Malone, just like Post Malone. And it's a ghost with all of Post Malone's face tattoos. And I'm sorry, but that's just hilariously adorable. And I cannot wait to put this on a shirt. Definitely happening. Wearing that for Halloween, my costume has been planned. That's all I need. All right, so those are my full color transfers that I plan on putting on a bunch of different shirts. So stay tuned for those. All right, so let's dive into some of the other stuff that my craft source has that I got in my box that definitely can help me decorate all of these things. I'm going to start with this giant pack here. This is cardstock, and I don't know if you're aware, but my craft source carries cardstock, and I love that they have these like holiday packs. Uh, there is a ton of paper in here. I don't know if you can see all of that. There's a ton of papers. It's really thick. It comes with a bunch of colors. Definitely on theme for the holidays. And I like to personally make my own um, gift card, like giving cards, Christmas cards, holiday cards. I also like to make my own gift tags for presents that I wrap. I'm not only making what they're probably getting, because I like to make most of my gifts for the holidays for my family, but I also get a personalized gift card uh, or tag with it as well. And this card stock is perfect for that. And I usually make them on my Cricut Joy. Um, and then I also have these two right here. It's a glitter paper. And this is like a heavy duty cardstock, but it is like straight glitter, so shiny, but it doesn't come off on your hands, which is great for card making. Nothing's worse than getting a card in the mail and it's all the glitter comes off when you open it and it's everywhere. All right, so <laughs> let's look at this right here, um, this next set. Now, I got four different giant rolls of different types of vinyls and everything. So we're just going to walk through real quickly each set. And I'll quickly show you all the colors I got. Again, everything's going to li be linked in the description. So don't get overwhelmed. It's really easy to when you see all this stuff together. All right, so these are Trendy Fall Easy Weed Heat Transfer uh, Vinyl Color Pack. We'll say that 10 times fast. Uh, Trendy Fall Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl Color Pack. And there's 10 different colors in here. Uh, and I really love these. First of all, Easy Weed is so, so awesome. But um, these are great for shirts and all sorts of like heat transfer projects. I love this plum purple and this olive green. This is like a hot chocolate brown. It's like the, it's such a perfect color. Love a good navy. Love a good rusty orange. Turquoise. Like a mustard yellow. And a fuchsia. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. I love the colors. And I love that they're not all like traditional fall or Christmas colors. But we are going to kick it into some of that with some faux leather. If you know me... You know I love to sew, and faux leather is one of the things I love to work with. So this right here is a new faux leather. Now, my craft source does print all of their faux leather in-house, uh, and so the consistency of the quality of the leather is going to be the same, and you're always going to get really vibrant colors, and I really love this faux leather because it doesn't really have a lot of stretch, which is nice when you're sewing it together. But look at this little hot co chocolate and little cocoa mugs with the little Christmas trees. And the little cups are actually like a blush pink. I know sometimes the color doesn't always come across on camera. So bear with me on that. But here's another faux leather for Halloween with a little ghost that says boo. I love the little ones that have like the little hair bows and the little handbags. So cute. Now this one's probably my favorite because again, it's not traditional fall colors. So this is a pink and white stripe with a cream, orange, and navy pumpkin. I mean, it's just so unexpected and fun. 
and you wouldn't think to put these colors together, but it really does work in person. I know it may not come across on camera, but it's really cool. I can't wait to make stuff with those. So those are the faux leathers I picked up. This next set is going to be, again, Halloween, fall, and Christmas. And these are printable, like, pattern vinyls um, that, they, again, print in-house, which is really cool. Uh, this one is not, these are, like, these are going to kind of blow your mind a little bit. When I first looked at them, I was, like, confused, but, like, in a good way. Like, it sparked inspiration, and it kind of confused me to think outside the norm, which I think is wonderful when you're crafting to not get stuck in a rut. These will not put you in a rut. These will definitely make you like expand your horizon. So this is like a blushy pink and cream plaid like print on the background with little daisies, like retro daisies, but we've got a pumpkin face in the middle. I mean, I would have never put these together, but now that I see them together, I love it. I think that would be super cute on that glass um, tumbler that I got. This is a fall print. It literally is Thanksgiving in a printable vinyl right here. So super cute. We have more of a traditional Halloween, but I love the white background. It just makes it all pop. We have a traditional fall plaid. This one is super fun because it's Halloween, but it's in stripe form. And it's like a, a Halloween, like serape kind of design to me. Like, Super, super cute. Cannot wait to use that one. This is another very busy, very bold Christmas plaid, but it works. I love all the colors. Like this is just the definition of Christmas. Here's another one that's gonna make your head go, hmm. Okay, so just bear with me. This is like a tan kind of rose, like a goldish uh, background. It's got glitter overlay, so the whole thing glitters. I'm just gonna show it to you. I'm just gonna show it to you. Look at that. So you see the gold glitter background, but then there's smiley, retro little smiley faces. So we're throwing it back to the nineties. Okay. And then we got the little Santa hats on them, but then there's lightning bolts and like the little flower power and the little moons. I mean, it works for me. I'm feeling this on so many levels and it makes me go, Hmm, I got to do something really cool with this because this is super cool. I'm excited. And you should be too. All right, let's do another one. This one is spider webs, glitter. This is a glitter overlay with the little spiders and spider webs. Super, super cute. And this last one is just simple with the green and the white, but I love that it looks like little cookie shapes and the little cookie cutters and everything. All right, now that our minds have been blown a little bit, let's go back to some basics. Solids, glitters, all the things you're gonna love this one this pack is the christmas mixed heat transfer vinyl color pack this one has some really cool stuff in it that i'm excited to show you and it has some stuff in here that i've never worked with before so i'll definitely be jumping on for a tutorial on those because i cannot wait to i cannot wait to work with them okay so let's just dive in um these are all heat transfer vinyls and they're colors and glitters so we've got a silver like white glitter We've got a red, we've got a blue, green right here. This is more of like a tan gold color. This is a green with like silver glitter over it, which is super fun. This is a metallic silver. We've got another red, another green. Some of these are soft flex, which even if you've never used heat transfer vinyl, the soft flex, um, which is the Starcraft brand soft flex, it is so yummy on shirts. It, you don't even you don't even really feel it. It's not bulky. It's not stiff. It flows with the shirt, and it lasts a long time. And it's very easy to weed. So this is also that that plum purple. All right. So now we're switching over to traditional glitter vinyl and heat transfer. So we've got a red. We've got a purple, this is like a turquoise, teal, green, uh, and a gold. Now these are going to have the texture of glitter, which is not for every shirt, but it is definitely fun for a lot of projects. And I like using it a lot. Uh, I personalize dog bandanas a lot with the like vibrancy of this uh, heat transfer glitter. 
Super fun. All right, so these two pieces right here, I'm gonna read it off the sheet because I wanna make sure I say it right. These are the two I have not worked with before. That I was so excited to try, it's so fun. Okay, these are Strip Flock Pro in bright red and green. They're by Caesar. Now, if you're not aware of what Strip Flock Pro is, I'm sorry, I had to read that so I don't say that the wrong way. Uh, it is a heat transfer vinyl. And I tried to peel up one little corner a little bit. It feels like um, like a velvety top, but I, I don't know if it puffs up or not. It might, um, but it's a little different than puff vinyl. But it is so soft. It's going to give your shirt texture, which is perfect for the holidays. And honestly, this may be something I try to put on that trucker hat to really make it pop off the hat. I don't know. I'm thinking big here. I'm probably going to try it. I'm so excited. All right, so then we have a few more. This is a red, like a shimmery red, a shimmery green. And then we have two um, foil type of uh, designs for heat transfer vinyl. So here's a really pretty red for like ornaments and stuff on your shirts. And then this one is like a, almost like a holographic green um, design. It's super fun. So all of that is heat transfer vinyl. That was a lot in the Christmas colors and I'm super excited about it. Something else I picked up was some StarCraft glitter foil. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of work with foil, um, but it's super fun. It's really affordable, and there's some really fun projects out there. This is a 25-foot roll. It's a lot of foil. This will last me a long time. Um, but if you've ever worked with the foil, leave a comment and let people know what you make with it because there's a lot of fun things you can make, but I feel like foil is one of those things that people aren't really sure what to do with it. So inspire some friends and let them know what you make with the foil. All right. Then the last thing I'm going to show you is this last roll. This is the Halloween adhesive color pack. So this one has 22 different colors in it. The last one we did had 23. I'm telling you, I got a lot of goodies, okay? I can't control myself sometimes. It's just so much fun. Um, these are all adhesive, so not heat transfer, adhesive. So these would be good to use on like my snow globe or my mug if I didn't want to sublimate, which I'm going to sublimate on the mug. All right, so we have a matte black. We're going to just dive right in. This is like highlighter yellow. It's so neon, also matte. And then we have a matte purple. It might show up blue on your end, but it is purple, I promise. And then we're going to go into some gloss. This is a orangey red. This is this is Frankenstein green. Let's just call it what it is. Frankenstein green. This is pretty neon orange. This is a true green. Then we have a black and another royal purple. Another orange. Y'all, I got so many. I have a problem. <laughs> and red. <laughs> All right, and these are going to be glitter um, vinyls that are adhesive. So that was a pretty red. This is a brown with a glitter. That's just that's just fun. Uh, this is an orange. This is what I I don't know the exact name of it. It is like a midnight purple. It is so close to black, but it's purple and it is glittery and it's so pretty. So I got two sheets of that. This is a bright purple. These are holographic. So this is purple, but you're going to see every color of the rainbow in it. And an orange. These are much more bright. This is another holographic that's not glitter. It's just like a iridescent holographic. It's like a slate blue. It is so cool. But when you look at it, you literally see every color in the rainbow. Then we have a green fun print. And then last but not least is this one. And you may not be able to tell on camera, this is literally the color of glow in the dark. I don't know if it glows in the dark yet. I can't remember, maybe, but it's the color of glow in the dark, if that makes sense. It's like that weird yellow green, um, but it's like the definition of Halloween. <laughs> so that is everything that I got and I'm so excited. Again, everything's listed in the description. There is a discount code in the description for you to use if you want. Um, again, happy shopping, y'all. This is like the peak time of the year to do all the fun crafting and gift giving. And I, it's just going to be so much fun. So 
be sure you're subscribed to my channel, hit the bell so you get a notification because I will be coming back on and doing some projects with you guys with all of this. I mean, I have to, I have to, it's going to be so much fun. All right, guys, my name is Bethany with Craft of Bethany. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you.